Eldora Speedway, the green flag is going to wave this time. Brian Shirley on the pole, Shane Clanton on the outside. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is showtime. And Shirley's going to grab the lead on a turn two down the back straightaway. And right, look at Clanton will make the crossover move, and Shane Clanton will grab the lead into three. Van Warmer will follow, and Bloomquist on the bottom. They're three wide for second, Dustin Jarrett. Scott Bloomquist on the bottom in that battle. All in contact up front, the six of Shaver, the 55 of Van Warmer. They're able to squeeze through, but the zero of Scott Bloomquist up to third. Surely up to second, your leader at the end of lap number one is going to be Coconut Shane Clanton. Bloomquist runs third, then it's Van Warmer, Shaver, Clint Smith on the bottom. And here comes Blankenship. John Blankenship looking for his first ever crown jewel win in the 23 car. Shane Clan solid, of course, a couple years ago winning the World 100. That was in Ronnie Dobbins' car. The Kennedy Motorsports entry out in front right now. Shirley second, Bloomquist is third. Fourth runs Van Warmer. Fifth is Clint Smith. And sixth on the bottom. Here comes Blankenship. Three wide off the of four, Dustin. That's Blankenship in the 23, the 44, Clint Smith. Van Warmer in the 55. Still three wide around turns one and two. Van Warmer now going to inch ahead on the outside. John Blankenship makes the move. Blankenship, a quick early move here, started at ninth. He now runs in fifth in the Cole America's Energy Rocket as he'll try to track down Van Warmer. Meanwhile, Clanton solid down the back straightaway. Into the wall goes Van Warmer. Shane Clanton stretching out his lead early on in this one, but look at the 23 of John Blankenship started back in ninth. John Blankenship already worked his way up to fourth, one of the early movers and shakers in this one. John Blankenship started ninth right now. He's one of the drivers on the move. Blankenship trying to close in on that battle for the second spot. That's a highly entertaining battle between the three S of Brian Shirley and the zero Scott Bloomquist. Surprisingly, the 25 of Shane Clanton, though, James, holding his own right now, not really forcing the issue at the back of the field. This time by 20 laps going up on the scoreboard. 20 laps are down. As Bloomquist wow. now to the inside of Brian Shirley. They're still side by side, wheel to wheel, door to door. A great battle for second. It's a good clean battle, Dustin. Bloomquist leaving Shirley a plenty of room up top as Bloomquist will clear Shirley into three. As he will move in front of him by about two to three car lengths as Blankenship will close on Shirley. Clint Smith remains in fifth. Sixth is Van Warmer. Seventh, McDowell. Eighth is Shaver. Ninth is Francis. Moyer up to tenth. And John Blankenship. The Avalanche down to the inside, a squirrel in about over third. He's got him, the Coal America's Energy Rocket Cornet powered Blankenship from ninth to third. Meanwhile, Reddick has passed O'Neill on the back straightaway. Reddick up to 17th, O'Neill 18th, and Chubb Frank in trouble down the back straightaway. Chubb Frank under power down the back straightaway, and the caution is going to have to come out. Scott Bloomquist alongside on the restart, looking for his sixth. Dirt late model dream victory, Dustin here they come, Bloomquist and Clanton on the restart with 23 complete at Eldora. Well, the caution will come out. And... And per Eldora Speedway rules, that is a jump start on the zero of Scott Bloomquist, James. That means he will go back one row on the start. You can see on the replay, there you go. Drivers are told in the driver's meeting to fire at the logo on the outside of the wall. You saw the zero did fire early. Try it one more time. The 25 is Shane Clanton's your leader. He starts the race. Green is out. Here comes Blankenship. He's going to get to the outside. And Blankenship, who's made most of his time up on the bottom, up top. Blankenship on the top side. And John Blankenship will go to second down the back straight away. Clanton continues to lead Bloomquist now. We'll have to get around Brian Shirley as they'll come even off a of four. Just de deja vu all over again, as a famous baseball player once said. The zero and the three S side by side. 
And look at the 17 of Dale. He got three wide back there for the fourth spot. McDowell on the inside. Now for the fifth spot, Van Wormer on the outside. And the 44, Clint Smith, the meat in the sandwich. We've had great racing all night long. It continues here in the dirt lane on the dream. The 100 laps with 25. We're a quarter of the way through at Eldora. Down the main straightaway, 42 laps complete in the 18th. Dirt late Mama Dream as Don O'Neill, Pearson, Babb, and the one of Shepard are in front of your leaders as they dive at a three. Shane Clan, John Blankenship is going to go to the top groove out of four, Dustin. Clan tries a new line down low in an effort to get around the back of the field. These cars are just so evenly matched that he can't find a way around. Here comes Blankenship down to the bottom. Side by side for the lead. No, Clan with a little more momentum coming off the corner. Able to hold him up for one more lap. Those two cars racing each other in the lap traffic, allowing the zero of Scott Bloomquist to close in. 52 laps complete. Meanwhile, Bloomquist, he'll lose another spot and landing it around Bloomquist. And Bloomquist will fight back on the inside as he'll throw the slider. Moyer up top trying to pass both of them off the four. That's a good race back there, James, for the fifth spot. Bloomquist in the zero, landing in the 29. Moyer in the 21. They're all running very different lines around Eldora Speedway. In front of them, the battle for third. Clint Smith still turning away the challenges of Steve Francis. And up 66 laps down, 34 laps to go, and we're about ready to go back racing in the 18th annual Dirt Late Model Dream. Here comes Lanigan on the bottom. They're trying to go three wide for the lead now. Clanton, Blankenship, Lanigan has the momentum down the back straight away. Here comes Lanigan. Smith to fourth, fifth is Francis. As they come out at turn number four, it's still Shane Clinton showing the way at Eldor in the Dirt Late Model Dream, Dustin. Ready to go. Francis and Cat Daddy going at it. And they bump a little bit going into one. Clint Smith and Steve Francis going at it. Meanwhile, Dennis Herb Jr. is solid but quiet run here tonight. Down the back straight away as Francis returns the favor and repasses Clint Smith. Fits the personality of Dennis Herb. Solid and quiet. Don't hear a lot out of him. We call him Mr. Consistency because he always seems to be there at the end. Meanwhile, down the back straight away. Battle for second. Blake and Chip Atlanta get into three. As they come out, they're side by side. Lanigan on the bottom. Blankenship, Lanigan. And Blankenship will be scored in second that lap. 16 to go, Dustin. John Blankenship trying to hang on, but Shane Clanton, like a hot knife through by the back of the field. Blankenship and Lanigan exchange passes. Coming off turn two and down the back straightaway. Lanigan going to try to go back down to the inside in three and four. Can't get it done, though. Blankenship with a little more momentum while these guys are racing side by side. Shane Clanton has put Jeep Van Warmer a lap down, and Clint Byers a lap down. Shane Clanton showing no signs of slowing down here tonight. Shane Clanton. Clanton is the old 100th winner just a couple years ago. This time by, we'll see the white flag from Rick Foley. Final time around for Shane Clanton. Clint as he's off of it, he's still got a half straightaway lead over the 23 of John Blankenship. Car steady down the back straightaway for the final time. Into corner number three, off of corner number four.